Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the, I'd say mid-July to mid-August reading for the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine dynamic. Um, but as with every video that I do, these can be, these are intended to be timeless from the standpoint that if it shows up in your feed or you're drawn to the title, then there is a message here for you. And ironically, it's really interesting. I've been getting some of my own videos showing up in my feed from two years ago that are resonating exactly as today. So many of you guys know, don't dismiss videos no matter because they were recorded at a different time. Often they are just in, um, in reserve mode until spirit wants you to hear them and then you won't see them until it's the right time for you. So we're going to take a look at this. Instead of this being the July reading, it's going to be approximately mid July to mid August. This is getting out a little late. So let's start off with taking a look at the current, at the, at the energies in this time between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Now, oh wow, okay, <laughs> man holding a heart just starting off the reading. I want to say also as you're watching this, many of you certainly assign the role of masculine or feminine to whatever relationship you are referring to, but I do recommend watching for your personal masculine and feminine energies when it comes to love, the different ways that you approach love for your personal masculine and feminine aspects. But certainly feel free to watch for a specific relationship and assign a role to each person, however it resonates for you. And because they can apply to your inner energies, they, the messages also can resonate from both sides. So um, in terms of you may feel like you are both the masculine and the feminine, well, that's, that's exactly why. <laughs> so starting off the reading here with the man holding a heart right smack in the middle. Um, this is the divine masculine. He is ready. He is ready to give his heart to somebody. He is open and is, um, is uh, staring right at whoever's looking at this card. <laughs> so before I keep going further, I will be uh, pulling an energy of the divine masculine specific to the dynamic through this time frame. Okay, the third chakra in the reverse and the overall energy for the divine feminine. Seventh chakra upright. Look how they're both getting chakras. Interesting. So what I'm feeling in this time frame is there is, it's like the masculine is ready. He's open. He's ready to give his heart. But there is something where he may be struggling a little bit with um, self-assuredness, confidence, um, determination. And, and at the same time, what I'm getting is he doesn't want to come across too overconfident. So it's almost like he's, because he doesn't want to be too intense. And apparently my cat agrees. <laughs> so let's actually add to this. There will be an extended where I go a lot more in depth into the dynamic and what they're each experiencing, um, the lessons they're learning, the shadows that could come up. That's all in the extended. And also, guys, if the reason this is late is um, if you are on my mailing list um, or attended my live webinar I did on Youthing back in June, early June, um, do check your email. I did send a very important announcement regarding my con course launch on reverse aging. So if you're interested in that, do check your email. It's called Unlocking the Secrets of Reverse Aging. I'm not, not sending the link here um, just yet. So this is, uh, so if you are a member of my mailing list and, um, or attended the webinar or registered for the webinar I did back in June, then do check your email for details because there is a special offer being offered by the um, end of July 11th. So if you're interested, do check it out. So let's continue to move through the month here. The energies between them. Oh my gosh, you guys. Caring connections. The sun in reverse followed by the angel of strength in reverse. 
Okay. I'm getting a real energy of vulnerability this month. I'm getting a real energy of, um, almost as though like I'm getting this very tender, vulnerable energy between the masculine and the feminine where there's this desire to connect and yet this feeling of holding back. It's almost like a restraining energy, like a restraint. It's like there's so much love and connecting energy this month, this, at this time and this already coming through this reading, but there's an element of restraint that's coming through. Like, I don't want to, I don't want it to be too flooding. I don't want it to be too overwhelming. I don't want to let it take over. Like I want to, I want to hold it back a bit, but I want to fully immerse myself. So there's kind of this really swirly energy that is, um, Sorry, guys. She normally doesn't come in when I'm doing readings because normally I have my door closed. <laughs> but it's almost like there's a, a real, not, it's not a push-pull. It's more of a, I'm getting it in these forms of waves, like energy waves of like being drawn, but then holding back, being drawn further, but then pulling back. It's almost like that tension building that then you want to say it's a subside and this can refer to something I'm not going to mention, but um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sure you can feel it. So let's see how the masculine is showing up through this energy here, starting with this caring connections. He's got the contract card upright and the divine feminine has the thinking man. I feel like the feminine right now is channeling the light and holding it and anchoring the light into the earth. It's almost as though she's got this sense of knowing that this is a month where things begin. And for some of you, part of this confidence or wanting to go forward to offer your heart to somebody involves closing out some sort of a karmic cycle, making a decision about love, choosing a higher level of love. And this is also, I'm getting a very strong energy for the feminine knowing that she's, she is the one that is to simply be in her light and in her energy and her grounded energy as the masculine closes out something that needs to be closed out. But there's a sense of justice here. And the feminine is sitting there and she's not moving. She's in her light, she's in her power. And she knows that the sacred masculine is drawn. And anything that is falling away from her life right now is not the sacred masculine. For example, when it comes to love, guys, obviously we're talking more about love here, but these energies can apply to your, um, you know, your life in general. For your personal masculine and feminine energies. So let's, um, I'm going to get the cards out here before I continue. Lots of chakra cards here. We've got the sixth chakra in the reverse, the angel of love, the garden and the gate, and the woman holding a coin in the reverse. So it, you know, it's kind of like, put these cards down. Do you see how there's the garden and the gate for the masculine? It's kind of like this energy of that restraint. She's behind a gate. I feel like anything that is not aligned for your ascension path, any relationship that is not either manifesting or aligned for your, for your path is falling away in order to open up to new. And I feel like this is an um, this is a um, a month 
or a time frame where the feminine in particular aligns with her energy of self-love. It's like I, I, I'm, I'm getting so many energies coming through. Let me get more specific here. Man holding a heart, time for healing. This could be making amends, making things right. If you've had a falling out with somebody or left things unsaid, this could be a month where things come together, where there are apologies and communication. It's the full moon in Gemini. Answers you need are coming. The sun in reverse. What do you need to release? See what I mean? It's like there's so much happiness that's here, but you've got to let go of the restraint or the hesitation about it. You know, there's that feeling of full surrender into happiness, and sometimes we hold ourselves back from it. I mean, we get the angel of strength in reverse, which can come to me as like the strength card in the tarot, which is there's this like holding back and stepping out of your comfort zone. See what I mean? I should have just pulled the second layer right away, but it's there's this feeling of it's like can I really be can it really be this good? And the answer is it can. Yet it, it, this type of level of love that I'm talking about isn't just your everyday, you know, nice relationship. This is sacred union we're talking about. So it's a very different, very special, very, um, I want to say ordained type of connection that not everybody experiences. And so there's some differences here, differences in the journey So I feel like this is a month of information, communication, release, and going into new territory. It's like a, a world is beckoning you. A world is calling, calling you forward, a new life. And for the masculine, kind of holding back a bit. Yeah, he's got to balance out. See how he's got the scales here? He's got to balance something out. This could be the masculine really holding back a little bit, not wanting to be too confident because he it's almost like he knows that there's some sense of uh, divine justice in what is happening in his life right now, but he doesn't want to come across as like he's taking that for granted. And for the divine feminine, she is continuing to be in her seventh chakra energy and she has rapid ascension this month. So I feel like things are closing out, things are shifting um, in order to open up to communication while masculine wanting to communicate potentially that things are done, things are resolved in his life, that he can now move forward, open up a new level of communication and for the divine feminine, a new moon. I mean, guys, this is crazy, right? Look at the scales. We've got three scales here. Karmic energy is balancing new romantic cycle beginning. And so if you're in a situation where you're letting go of somebody and, and, and you feel this sense of almost rapid ascension because all of a sudden this energy is freed up from you, that's because you are meant to let go of them. And for some of you, this is, this is coinciding with you calling in a very high level of love. And for many people, they've been holding on to um, either this, the, uh, the, this person or, or, you know, trusting that this is going to move in a certain direction. And this is a, this is a time right now that I'm seeing it with my clients. I'm seeing it with my friends where things are either, it's like make it or break it time. Um, and those that are leaving things behind, they're getting this feeling of rapid ascension almost as though that energy has been cleared out from them that has prevented them from seeing the truth. And the masculine here is ready to make things a tangible reality when it comes to the Capricorn energy and the Taurus energy. Enough thinking about it 
like this, this is an energy of wanting to go out there, but being hesitant, like, can it really be that good? Is it really, am I going to be okay if I leave my safety zone, my comfort zone? And there's a sense of relief for the divine feminine. And I think that there's a part of the feminine here that is letting go potentially of It's like she's finally getting karmic justice and releasing the feeling like I'm tired of getting guided towards something and not having it manifest. All of a sudden, I feel like suddenly if something's letting go here, this, the belief in the impossible is leaving. But I think what's happening here is there's a feeling of going into new territory this month. There's a desire to communicate. There's a desire to, I feel like whatever communication happens in this time frame, it's going to let go of whatever's holding back this becoming a tangible reality, right? It's like kind of like, like I said, it's that make it or break it time. Whatever information, whatever is communicated around now will set the tone for the next direction. It's kind of like there's a timeline juncture right now are these timelines going to merge together to go together or are they going to continue to cross and we're going to go in different directions or are we going to join together and go forward that's really the vision i'm getting i'm just obviously demonstrating with my hands where it's like two people are on timeline trajectories they're intersecting right now having a conversation and it's either going to keep going like this or it's going to go like this and they're going to go together forward or they're going to go separately on other trajectories which you know is a really liberating thing and sometimes you know this intersection must happen in order to to kind of close out and to heal right if there's a conversation unfinished business you know, we've left things unsaid, we've left things dangling, that's changing this month. So with that, um, very interesting, interesting time. This is a summer, we're coming into the set, we have the 7-7 portal already, we're coming into the Lion's Gate, which is the spiritual new year. It is where we ascend rapidly at the 8-8 Lion's Gate. And so that really explains a lot of this, like, wrapping up and new beginning energy. So I'm heading over to the extended where I'm going to go more in depth into each of the masculines and feminines experience with their dynamic this month. Um, to get more in depth, if you are interested, that link is down below. Again, if you are interested in the youthing course, um, understanding, or, or even in the, uh, the free webinar that I did, there is the, uh, I forgot to mention the free webinar that I did. I've just now put the replay up of it. So you can watch the webinar, even if you don't take the course and you're curious about the topic, you can go check it out. Um, but it's not gonna be up for long. I'm gonna take the webinar down after the course launches. So this is the time to check it out if you are interested. So with that guys, heading over to the extended. And in the meantime, I send you love. Bye.